Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. Live game is Schalke against Borussia Dortmund. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? It's got to be the German Messi, Mario Goethe, uh, one of the most effective footballing drifters you'll come across, whether wide or playing as a false number nine. He's incredibly elusive. Thinking the same, he will be a central feature, no doubt. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Konopienka. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Goal kick. No, no, I stand corrected, it's a corner. Off target. Well, the keeper was helpless then. He knew he wasn't getting to it, so for a second or two he must have been praying it was off target, and he got lucky, very lucky. Bachuayi, Castro, looking to get on the end of this. Now it's Konopienka. Cooked out to the wing into the area really didn't have enough to concern the defense Castro takes it over to the other flank Paul Isic looking to penetrate opposition lines yeah it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen ultimately the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in Stasic Boone forward. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Ronaldo. Maya. Toprak does well there. Alert. Who's going to make this theirs? Sliding in. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's put paid to a promising move. Tries a through ball. Right, oh that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And he's going to have his name taken. <laughs> now the pass. That should be the keepers. Yarmolenko tries a long pass towards the front. And it's good, sir. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Paul Isic, unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. He's found his man. He's through and all alone! And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Lukas Piszczek. Gets good distance on it. Bentaleb. Christian Paul Isic. And the first half is done. Any strong opinions on the first half? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. 
So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. Schalke clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Oh, off the bar! Maya showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Gets it upfield. Naldo gets into the right position to intercept. Oh, good interception. Yarmolenko. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Lucas Piszczek. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Bentaleb boots it upfield. Well, accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. It's got through, and he's away. He's scored! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Schalke, draw first blood here. Well, when the going gets tough, etc., um, they can still turn this round, I think. Pachuayi! Pumps it upfield. He acknowledges that he... Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He knows what's coming. A second yellow, and he's off. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Promising move that, good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. It's a long forward pass, goes wide. Fires it in low, thrust towards the front line. Lucas Piszczek, and it's Schürrle. Lovely close control. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Valdo. Koroplianka is being picked on here. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Aimed long and direct. It's long and forward. Top rack gets it back. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Naldo. Schürrle charges in. Kagawa. And now they can launch a counter. Crosses into the box. Ambitious to say the least. He seemed to be in a hurry to get that in. Pumps it upfield. Mario Götze hurtles into the tackle. Out to the flank. Has it out wide now. Bentaleb knocks it towards the front. Mario Götze. Schürrle. Aim forward. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. It's a loose ball. Gets his head to it! Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Schalke win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. The end of the game. Reflections?
Schalke made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. Well, thanks to Jim, we both wish you a very good evening.